The opinions expressed in this program are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views of the ownership, management, or staff of Sunrise Broadcasting and its sponsors. Welcome to Let's Talk Hudson Valley, where every Sunday morning we put the spotlight on our local community and the people that make our Hudson Valley special. Let's Talk Hudson Valley is your show, and it's all about what matters to you, our local economy, community affairs, local business, education, health care, and everything in between. If your company, group, or organization would like to be a guest on an upcoming program, email bobd at foxradio.net. Now, let's talk Hudson Valley with your host, Bob DeFelice. Let's talk Hudson Valley, and this morning we're going to talk with Melissa McCoy. She is Chief Advancement Officer for Abilities First. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Bob. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to have have you back in the studio. Oh, it's always great to be here. We appreciate all that you do to help share the word of lots of things going on in our communities. Yeah, we love it. And uh, we love Abilities First. Thank you. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple of events that you have coming up. Exciting stuff. Uh, Yeah, very exciting. Lots of great things for the community and in lots of ways. And I also, before we do that, though, just in case, Abilities First, let's talk about your uh, organization and what you do. Sure. Uh, Abilities First is a not-for-profit organization. Uh, It began in uh, Dutchess County, primarily in Poughkeepsie. A small organization like many not-for-profits where a group of families felt that there was something missing and and started to develop what now, you fast forward from 1962 to today, exists uh, with over 600 employees serving about 1,400 individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, That's the population we serve is birth through life. So we have um, community-based programs, preschool, UPK, traditional school for uh, individuals 5 to 21, um, adult uh, day programs, employment services, uh, community habilitation, residential. We have uh, supportive apartments, more independent living. And in, in whatever it is throughout the, the course of life that an individual needs to help succeed and grow and, and become as independent as they can. That's really what's at, at the thrux of our mission, mission. That's great. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a, a lot happening every day. We are a 24-7 organization. We certainly don't ever close our doors. No. How many individuals do you serve? We serve over 1,400 individuals. 1,400? Yeah. In what areas? So the individuals that are coming to us, um, well, it, most people have known us to be based in Dutchess County. We've had those 1,400 individuals coming to us from the surrounding six to seven counties, depending on, on who's enrolled at the time. And those are individuals who could be traveling to Poughkeepsie from Port Jervis, wow. uh, from up near Hunter Mountain. So it's a long drive. It's a very long distance. And because of those uh, long commutes, the, you know, a lot of individuals have very sensitive um, systems and, and a lot of uh, need during the day. And that's a long ride for anybody, but certainly for our folks. So those individuals that are coming to us, we've realized that we want to ha- provide those services and those opportunities closer to where they live. Uh, most especially for the students. Um, they need to be acclimated into their communities and with their families to be able to be participating in that. So hence uh, some of our recent growth that we talked about on our last show with yeah. our, our school that opened in Cornwall, New York temporarily. And we'll move to our new New Windsor site uh, once it's completed, hopefully by the fall of 2018. That's this year. Yeah. Coming yeah. up coming up quick. Yeah, it's going very, very well. So you serve individuals and, and also their their families, of course, by nature. Sure. It's a, it's a a team effort to to provide to uh, have their schedules whether the, most of them live at home uh, but I guess like we said many of them live in uh, our supportive apartments and if I could look at one individual uh, the parents happen to live in California and their their adult son lives in one of our uh, supportive apartments and does well and I, I get the pleasure of uh, catching a picture with them here and there and, and sending it off to them out in California and and keeping the community that's supportive as well as the families you know an active part of of what we're doing and why we're doing it for their loved ones. That's fantastic. Let's put your website out. Sure. It's uh, www.abilitiesfirstny.org. So Abilities First is all spelled out. Include the ny.org at the end. And there it is. So and a lot of what we're going to talk about is on there. Absolutely. So you can Mm -hmm. check that out. Want to talk today, you've got, and we're going to have a special guest uh, coming up in in the segment uh, this morning, which is just amazing. He's a local, a fellow that's made it big time, and he's coming back to 
to do an event for you. Yes. Um, uh, Chris Dare is his professional name. And Chris will be performing live on January 25th at the Newburgh Brewery. Newburgh Brewery is exc- extremely supportive of uh, not-for-profit organizations and allowing events and activities to occur. And Chris is someone, uh, personally, I happen to know for, for many, many years and have has, have watched his career kind of build and, and have en- engaged in those uh, professional performing services, um, allowing him opportunities opportunity as well as uh, our folks at our events to enjoy and we do have gotten quite uh, the feedback from that and and it has we have grown uh, so has he and he is certainly out there in the throughout the nation at this point and he will be performing this benefit um, in conjunction with abilities first on the 25th that's awesome you also have another event that comes our way in march yeah, this, What's is, that? this is kind of dear to my heart. It, it, it began three years ago um, when I joined Abilities First and, and looked at what was missing for the individuals and the families that, that we serve and, and many others serve in the region. And if you look at a home expo or a business expo, it's bringing those resources together. And while there are some national um uh, events somewhat similar. There was nothing regional that, that was close to home for for families, and the showcase uh, is a it's a showcase for enrichment and inclusion. And what that means is we're bringing together the resources um, that allow families to find summer camps, adapt their home. And I, when I say families, um, it is for children's uh, resources as much as it is for elderly or or those uh, veterans that may need some accommodations made. Um, it could be a utility company at, uh, adapting a home. It could be a camp that is more accessible for others. Legoland, who was certainly um, very supportive in employing individuals with disabilities as well as accommodating children and accessibility at their parks. They are there. Um, Lots of different uh, regional resources as well as national and and, uh, uh, companies coming together for a a day and and providing those resources. It's a free event, and um, we're taking over the the first floor of the Poughkeepsie Gallery uh, that day. Cool. And that's, uh, when again is that, March? That'll be March 10th. Uh, again, it's free throughout the day, and then we start the day off knowing our uh, the population we serve with a, more of a quiet, uh, sensory-sensitive environment, um, not all the music and the lights and those types of things happening, so those that choose could, could come and take advantage of it um, at that time. And the Easter Bunny is going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what oh, we anticipate. Oh, boy. Perfect. And then in addition, we actually have, uh, we work with Regal Cinemas, and they have been ger- very generous generous in adding a uh, showing for one for adults and one for children at 10 a.m., which is, again, sensory sensitive. So the lights aren't so dark. The noise is not so loud. Oh, cool. And it just providing that, that, that little bit of uh, difference that everyone's looking for. How nice is that? That's really very cool. And I see that uh, there's different events. And we'll talk about it again. We're going to talk sure. about it a little bit later in the show, the different uh, um items that you have going on throughout the day mm-hmm. on march 10th at the poughkeepsie galleria abilities first a showcase of resources for enrichment and inclusion and if you're just joining us uh, along with us this morning melissa mccoy chief advancement officer for abilities first and uh, we're gonna t- let's t- pretty soon we're gonna we're gonna talk with uh, chris dare i want to talk a little bit more about this event that you have coming uh, to newburgh brewing Sure. Uh, on January 25th. So, so tickets are on sale now. Um, there's a VIP ticket that if anyone is interested at $40, that includes the VIP meet and greet with Chris, uh, one complimentary beer, wine, hors d'oeuvres, and then an autographed souvenir item um, and some reserved seating. So it's kind of a nice nice price point package. Um, and then there is also general admission because we may uh, have families that, that choose to bring someone and obviously the alcohol or, or other might not be uh, the right fit for them. Yeah. So that $20 admission it lets them enjoy the show and all the fun things that'll be going on it begins at five o'clock uh, some mingling magic so chris will be out hopefully mingling with everyone that's fun a dj will be performing which will be uh exceptional and then the show will actually start at 6 30 p.m um he has this a brand new stage show some magic that he has said he has not shared anywhere no kidding he's yeah. gonna reveal it first here yeah so this is his first live you know in his own hometown so it's very exciting um, they've got a, a new stage, a lot of, a lot of new, you know, in your face kind of things that, that people are going to enjoy. And they have done an exceptional job also collaborating with, uh, NFA and, and the video team, uh, some staff from the school that will be there and making it a, a kind of a all 
community event, I guess. How cool is that? Yeah. yeah especially yeah. for him coming back home. I mean, he's sure. played Vegas and, and yeah. uh, some big, big venues. Yep. And this is really cool right here in Newburgh, Newburgh Brewing Company at 88 Colden Street. How can people uh, learn more and get tickets? Uh, they can visit us on our Facebook. Uh, we have the information. And there's some really fabulous videos of Chris uh, doing performing in, in lots of other sites. So they can get a taste of what the evening will be. But they can go to our website and purchase right online. They go to abilitiesfirstny.org forward slash magic. Excellent. Abilities first. NY. NY. Dot org, org forward then, slash magic. And the old forward slash. Yeah. <laughs> and some magic. We're going to talk with him coming up pretty soon. I want to hear some of, uh, maybe maybe he'll give us a, a little taste of what he's, what he's going to do. I imagine that uh, seating must be limited. You know, to actually come and, and it see is. him. It's so, be... so we have it uh, out in our advertising. So the 40, especially the $40 VIP tickets are, are going very quickly. Um, and the general admission tickets are available now. And tickets will go up on the 15th, I believe it is. Or the 18th, I'm sorry. And they'll go up to $30 for the general admission. But there will be a capacity at the brewery. So once we hit that, we do have to close off our ticket sales. And there won't be any at the door that day. Oh, that... So we encourage that early purchase. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so um, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a quick time out, and when we come back, we'll have Chris Dare on the line right here on Let's Talk Hudson Valley. Are you tired of the pain, arthritis, or sciatica pain? Dr. Yu of Eastern Pain Medicine in Fishkill can help. You know, it would come and go, and you take medication for it. I, I'm not a pill person. I don't like to keep taking medication. I want to have it fixed without surgery. He's helped immediately. And the last resort is when he gives you several injections and it lasts for a while, but then it wears off, then he does the burning of the nerve. And that's fantastic. Like, he just gave me the injection for my neck. I don't feel any pain. He gives you something to numb. You know, he gives you an inje- like like you go to the dentist. Well, he injects the area, numbs it right up, and you don't feel a thing. Don't live another day in pain. Dr. Yu can help you manage chronic pain, restore functionality, and improve your quality of life. Eastern Pain Medicine with offices in Kingston, Poughkeepsie, and Fishkill. Call 471-0013 and online at easternpainmed.com. Advanced Dental and Oral Surgery in Valesgate is like no other dental practice around. They're the only local dental practice that's offering CEREC technology, which allows you to get a crown in just one visit. So forget multiple time-consuming trips, messy impressions, and temporaries. Go to Advanced Dental, get it done in one visit, and get on with your life. Advanced Dental and Oral Surgery, 401 Windsor Highway in Valesgate. Online at AdvancedDentalOfNewWindsor.com. That's AdvancedDentalOfNewWindsor.com. A is for Anderson Center for Autism. A is for the amazing individuals we serve. A is for asset, which each individual can become. A is for acceptance of each person's abilities and differences. A is for all of the 800 plus professionals who make up the A team at Anderson Center for Autism. We all work together to achieve our mission of optimizing the quality of life for each individual. Discover all the awesome, amazing, wonderful work we do. Visit AndersonCenterForAutism.org today and join the A team. When the Hudson Valley thinks coffee, it thinks J.B. Marshall Coffee. For three generations, J.B. Marshall has provided premium coffee for serious coffee drinkers. Call Thomas O. Miller today at 845-236-3090 to have J.B. Marshall Coffee delivered to your business. Ladies, are you tired of counting down until you can take off that uncomfortable bra? The experts at Measure to Fit know that when your bra feels uncomfortable, you feel self-conscious about how you look. Owners Beverly and Gail will work with you one-on-one to ensure the best-fitting bra for your body and lifestyle. To find that level of comfort that doesn't come from a department store, go to MeasureToFit.com and see for yourself how personal comfort and confidence can be so beautiful. Or call 297-8345. The opinions expressed in this program are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views of the ownership, management, or staff of Sunrise Broadcasting and its sponsors. 
It's Let's Talk Hudson Valley, where every Sunday morning we put the spotlight on our local community and the people that make our Hudson Valley special. Let's Talk Hudson Valley is your show, and it's all about what matters to you. Our local economy, community affairs, local business, education, health care, and everything in between. If your company, group, or organization would like to be a guest on an upcoming program, email bobd at foxradio.net. Now, let's talk Hudson Valley with your host, Bob D. Police. Hudson Valley this morning talking abilities first with Chief Advancement Officer Melissa McCoy. Melissa, so awesome to have <laughs> thanks, Bob. You hanging out with us on this uh, Sunday morning, and uh, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you introduce our next guest uh, who is calling us. Uh, and uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce? Well, he's an exceptional young man, an exceptional performer, and we're, we're very honored that, that he's uh, partnered with Abilities First on an event coming up on January 25th, uh, performing live in the, his own home, home region in the Hudson Valley, illusionist Chris Dare. Um, we'll be performing, and we're delighted to have Chris join us on the line and, and be able to share a few things. So I'm sure you have questions for Chris. I sure do. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, and thank you so much, Melissa, for the introduction. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Awesome. So we're all looking forward to January 25th at Newburgh uh, Brewing Company. You're going to come, uh, uh, I guess, in many ways, dare us, won't you? Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's going to be an evening uh, not to forget, that's for sure. We're going to do some amazing magic and illusions and uh, and really share a message, and that's what I'm so excited to, to share with some of the listeners today the deep meaning behind the show and how important of an evening it's going to be for both of me and, and abilities first as well. Yeah, no, it's a great, great cause, uh, Chris. And I know that, uh, that's important to you. I know one of your hashtags is magic with a mission. Um, mm-hmm. what does that mean? Magic with so a magic mission. Magic with a mission is something that we have developed over the course of the past few years of, of my life. And, and really it came from a direction that I wanted to take with magic Typically, you see magic on TV or when it's on stage, and it has this allure and this vagus atmosphere and, and feel to it. But I think that what's missing in magic is a lot of meaning and what it can provide for those who need. Uh, and so for hope and wonder to be two of the emotions that are such driving forces with what I do, I think it could really make a difference with people who, who need hope and need wonder. Um, and so that's where this whole mission is developed from. And, it's taken us uh, really around the world we, to St. Jude's Hospital and, and uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation and all the work we've done with Abilities First locally. And uh, we look forward to continuing that mission uh, as far as I can do magic. Excellent. Now, you're, you're uh, billed as an illusionist. What, what kinds of illusions will we, can you give us a little sneak peek or a taste of what will... I can't say too much, uh, <laughs> but I will tell you that I just had a show at the Bellagio in Las Vegas yeah. on stage, and we had produced some very high-quality magic for that, uh, and that's a lot of the stuff that's going to be at the show on the 25th. How exciting. So it's going to be very exciting. I will tell you that he uh, is just, whether it's an adult, a uh, child, that at any level, um, he just smiles in joy and, and just excitement because of, of what he is, you know, putting out there and what they never imagined, but it, but it can be. And, and his his other tagline of dare to believe, which is a key piece of, of this event, um, is daring to believe in yourself and what's possible. And he certainly brings that to a whole new level. He sure does. You're a success. Thank you. You're a success. Chris, what was it first that got you interested in doing magic? Um, so when I when I first started magic, I was at the age of six years old, and I got a call from my grandmother, who was 93, and she'll actually be in attendance at, at, on the 25th. Oh, cool. But, uh, she called me up, um, and she said, hey, turn on the TV. There's this guy who can levitate. And I ran over to the TV, turned it on, and it was David Blaine, who I was watching on TV. Yeah. And he did a car trick for me uh, not shortly after where he asked me to try to see a card, everybody on the TV, to try to see one card in the deck. And once I saw one, and he took a random card and changed it into the one I saw, the one <laughs> I was thinking of. And, and it was that moment yeah. where magic was real to me because it was personal. And it's, that's something I've never experienced in my life before at that point. And uh, I was hooked. And, and it became a life mission of mine, a passion to, to make the world believe just like I did on the couch that one day. How incredible. Great story. And it must take an awful lot of, uh, you know, when you're on stage, you're on. But it must take a lot of off stage time 
to perfect these uh, illusions. Well, I'll, I'll jump in there. When you're in a meeting with yeah. him, he's sitting there fiddling with his cards and just keeping those fingers working. Yeah. <laughs> so That's right. Yeah, the ledger domain and the sleight of hand. Even what I've, what I've experienced recently is the, the stage design, the, the production value when it comes to something like video and audio to really affect and enhance the magic that I'm doing to make it even more impressionable and more uh, more meaningful for people. That has taken the most time recently is getting my head into into this whole um, really you know high quality production design and and we're excited. I mean it's it's something that I can't wake up every day without thinking about. So I, I feel really blessed. Well, that's uh, they say if you uh, do what you love to do, you never work a day in your life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exactly, Bob. So the event uh, lineup at five o'clock. You're going to be doing some mingling, some magic, some music. Uh, then six thirty is magic with a mission, your stage show, and then seven thirty for those folks who have gotten the VIP tickets. They'll actually be able to meet and greet you. Right. Those those are going to be those things you want to have and hold on to forever because you hopefully it'll be an autographed picture of Chris, and one day you're going to yeah. say, "Look what I've got." That's right. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Chris, um, what, yeah, and, yeah. And we're so excited for the beginning part of the, of the event, too. The mixing and mingling magic is where I started. Like, um, when, I, when I was first starting out, that's, that's what was my repertoire, and still is to this day some of my strongest stuff is up close and in-person card tricks and things you can expect that were really a, really a personal and, and up close and, and different from anything that's, that's really out there. But then, yeah, as we transition, the stage show is going to be quite the eventful uh, piece. Awesome. What um, what would you tell someone, uh, Chris, that's uh, perhaps listening or may come to the show and is younger and is looking for a career in in uh, in magic? What would you tell them? Or it could be a, could be any to career. Follow their heart, and and um, there will be a time where people either uh, challenge the path. And what I mean by that is, you know, if I said to my parents, "Hey, I want to be a doctor." Normally that's worthy of praise, but when I said, you know, I want to be a magician, it goes tend to go a little bit of a different direction. So what I would tell them is follow your heart, don't listen to the naysayers, and, and, and believe that you can be uh, somebody who can affect others, and, and treat magic as an art and, and, uh, and a delicacy, it's something that should be um, shared as, as mission-based instead of um, kind of, you know, trickery. Uh, and so... If they do that, I think they'll have a great great meaning in the world, and, and hopefully they'll leave an impression. Excellent. What's your favorite, if you have a favorite, what's your favorite uh, trick? Oh, well, that's difficult. We're coming across new ideas all the time. I will say that my favorite concept is taking something brand new and making it real, whether that's um, we're recently working with uh, Hennessy, the cognac maker, and um, we're, ta- we're taking an idea, which is turning water, into Hennessy, we're making it real, and so that has now taken the place of my favorite trick because it came out of nowhere, and it's becoming real. Um, so things like that always, always tend to take my favorite spot. <laughs> we're sh- sitting here shaking our heads. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> How is that possible? I wouldn't have thought of that. I mean, you know, anything is possible. Uh, anything that's right. Is possible. It is impo- It is possible. How cool is that? That's part of the fun of um, illusions and and magic. That's part of the. Uh, you know, the, the the cool part about what you do, we're just, you know, I, you could be 100 years old and still sit there and just marvel like a child. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's a, actually a great point, Bob. I'll, I'll just speak on that for two minutes. A lot of us go through a point in our lives where we accept reality, so we just are comfortable with the way things are. And a lot of times we need a chap to challenge our beliefs, to make us wonder like a kid again, like you're saying. And magic is a perfect way of doing that with entertaining and and creating mystery, but it's really meant to to challenge you and, and to challenge your beliefs. And if strong enough, what I found is that the simple magic is the strongest. But if, if it's strong enough, it can really leave an impression that can last a lifetime. And uh, and, and and so that's really our, what our focus has been. So cool, so so cool. Any uh, anything coming up for the future aside from that new trick you talked about? Yes. So uh, in terms of, of shows. Yeah, we have a, uh, a quite a busy uh, upcoming year. We actually just got uh, an inquiry today where we might be heading to the 2018 Olympics uh, with a in a private jet uh, wow. doing magic to, to South Korea on a 12 12 hour long flight. How <laughs> so cool! That's, that's that, the latest exciting thing. Wow, that's um, really exciting. Yeah. Oh, how so we're cool! We're really excited about that. But yeah, again, it's sharing the mission. 
really giving back and trying to make a difference in the world and, and uh, hopefully networking and making some great connections along the way. Awesome. Chris, what does it mean coming back to Newburgh and performing locally at uh, um, one of the most historic buildings in Newburgh at 88 Colden Street, Newburgh Brewing? Well, I love Newburgh, and I love the U45, and I'm so such an uh, evangelist for this area. And I think it has enormous potential, and uh, a lot of times that's overlooked. So regardless of how uh, popular or how much leverage I can one day achieve, I really want to always keep Newburgh in, in mind and, and bring bring the area with me uh, wherever I go. And so it feels great to come back to Newburgh and, and to put on a show for for a lot of my local fans and family and, and close friends and, and to share with what I've been working on these past few years. Excellent. Well, we uh, we thank you for uh, your heart, uh, and we thank you for uh, you know keeping us in mind. And uh, we, yeah. we just look forward to, you know, keep hearing about your successes and um, looking forward to seeing you on the 25th. Yeah, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you, too. It's going to be an exceptional show. Uh, one word that came out while we were talking was energy. And I will tell you, when uh, Chris has been at some other events that we've had that have been that mingling ma- with magic, um, people are just enamored. They're the energy in the room. It's just exciting uh, event. So it's not someone just taking the stage, performing, and getting off. The whole evening is going to be really exciting. It's obviously for yeah. wonderful folks in the community that we're all doing this. And uh, we hope that individuals will go online and, and get their tickets and not miss out on a fun night. There is limited season. Eating. Excellent. Chris, anything yeah, you want to... That's yeah. a great point. We've gotten a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, a hype about the event, so definitely the tickets are going to show out um, soon or at some point, and then I would love to for everybody to be there. So if you're listening, go out, get your ticket, hit the link, and, and we'd love to see you that night. Cool. Chris, how can people follow you and, and get in touch with what you're up to? Do you have a website? Yeah, I have a website. It's uh, chrisdare.com. And then uh, I'm on Facebook under Chris Dare. You can follow me on Instagram, at Chris Dare. Um, Snapchat, where all the kids are these days, <laughs> Chris That's Dare. Uh, pretty standard across all platforms. Excellent. Any uh, any parting thoughts, anything you'd like to add? Um, yeah, I just want to say, uh, listen, I'm so grateful to be working with Abilities First, and, and I really uh, cherish the relationship we have together. I think we're gonna, this is just a start for what we can produce um, and, and for what we can provide for the community. And, I, and I'm so excited for the community to be a part of that. So if you're listening, this is just the beginning, and we can't wait to, to really make this, um, make this meaningful and, and, uh, and be long-lasting for, for the Newburgh community and surrounding areas. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Fantastic. Thank you. Looking forward. Awesome. All right. Talk later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Wow. He's pretty amazing, isn't he? He is. He's got a real great focus. He's got talent. He speaks well for for what he believes in, and uh, he's he's going to be an exceptional performer for, for lots that maybe have not uh, seen his uh, performances previously. An awesome young man, I can yeah. I can tell. Uh, I'm sure his uh, his family is proud of him. Oh, very much so. And the Newburgh so. community, uh, the whole region, yeah. pr- proud of uh, what he's done. A great respect for how he's going about doing it and growing yeah. his brand and including those he's been a part of it throughout his life. Yeah. So there's a lot more individuals in this community that are part of his his uh, platform, and, and I'm sure he, uh, I know he, he re- appreciates them, and, and we're excited that it's really a local, regional event, um, you know, kind of highlighting some of those others that are in our community. Absolutely. And his his whole heart is magic with a mission. You know, it, as he mentioned, he's, you know, it's not just any show. He's doing it to help abilities yeah. first. When he came, uh, to tell you uh, briefly, he came to visit the students at the school. You know, the magic was just amazing, brought some real excitement to children that might not otherwise be sparked by some things that are non- non-typical to their day. Yeah. And um, his real message about the, you know, magic with the mission and the dare to believe aspect. Um, he wants them all to believe that, that and, and as we do, that they can reach whatever they choose to accomplish and their level of independence in their lives. And that goes across to everyone one, not just those that we provide services to. Excellent. And Melissa, believe it or not, we're that's it. We're out of time. It was great talking with you, Bob. It was awesome talking with you and Chris it's, on As on the always, phone. yes. Thank so, you so much for having us. Of all, all the time. So before we go, one more time. How do we get tickets for this great, great show? Okay, so performing live, Illusionist Chris Dare on January 25th at the Newburgh Brewing Company. And you can purchase tickets online at abilitiesfirstny.org 
forward slash magic. Abilitiesfirstny.org forward slash magic. Excellent. Don't miss it. No, it's going to be great. Melissa, see you next time. Thanks so much, Bob. Bye. This has been Let's Talk Hudson Valley, where every Sunday morning we put the spotlight on our local community and the people that make our Hudson Valley special. Let's Talk Hudson Valley is your show, and it's all about what matters to you. Our local economy, community affairs, local business, education, health care, and everything in between. If your company, group, or organization would like to be a guest on an upcoming program, email bobd at foxradio.net. Tune in again next week at this same time for Let's Talk Hudson Valley.